Well, I'm a failure. I guess technically I unfailed, so I guess that works out. But um, it's day 15,461, I think. I don't know, it's day 40. Well, it's day 40 of this whole thing. And yeah, I uh, failed a little bit and I unfailed. So I guess that works out. I'm at 238, so that's like 30 pounds. That's pretty cool. Um, and it's too windy to go outside, so whatever. But, <clears throat> but yeah, I think um, overall I feel pretty good. Um, but last week was rough. I binged. Basically, it means I shoved a bunch of things in my mouth and didn't stop. Um, could have been for many different reasons. It's bored, tired. It's because I got furloughed. I don't know. But it happens. And then I got over it. So it happened on Saturday through Wednesday. So it's like five days or something. Um, and it was not great. Um, but it happened. So whatever. And then I tried to get back on the, the cleanse. Which is right here. It's from yesterday. <laughs> uh, I tried to get back on it on Wednesday. But the lemons were bad. So... Had to try again on Thursday. Thursday went good. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday again, day 40. Um, just continuing the counts because I don't think it matters anymore. But, yeah, so I did all those. And I'm juicing again. And here I am. But, yeah, it was kind of rough trying to get back on. Um... Everything's kind of crazy right now. Uh, if you can imagine. Just imagine. Don't even actually live it. Just let it be a thing of your imagination. <laughs> but yeah, so... But I got back on. Um, it was really difficult to get back on. Uh, because everything just tastes so good. But here I am. Because I was like, no, you gotta keep doing this. Um, plus I have so much syrup. I don't know what to do with <laughs> I think it'll last forever. But yeah, 30 pounds, 40 days. That's not bad. Um, and kind of see where that goes from there. Uh, it's been really difficult to do videos just because I just have no energy. A um, couple things I learned that uh, from lying down, it actually kind of makes me hungrier, which is weird. I didn't realize that until Thursday when I got up and I was like, oh, it's gone. <laughs> Um, you can imagine there's a lot of lying down, watching videos, which probably needs a change, but that's kind of what that is. <sighs> Excuse me. But yeah, so, I don't know, it has its ups and downs. Um, trying to do more walking and stuff, but that gets difficult. Um, it's hard to do other things. Like, I have a ton of videos that I want to edit, and obviously I don't edit my videos, so I'm trying to get to that point. But, uh, day by day, um, yeah, just uh, back on the horse, see where this wild beast takes me, because um, uh, I still have a ton more weight to lose. Uh... Lost a lot of everything, but I still have a lot of fat I need to get rid of. So, we'll see how that goes. 40 days is a long time. Especially with everything. Considering time doesn't exist anymore. But, uh, you know. Also, drinking water at night. I wake up and I'm really dehydrated. Um, but I've been tr drinking more water at night. Uh, before I tried not to drink it for like a long time just because I'd have to wake up in the middle of the night. Um, but now since my blood pressure is down, I don't really have to worry about that too much, which is fantastic. I hate, I hate that. But yeah, so one day at a time, just trying to figure things out, trying to figure out how to keep my mind active and 
doing things when I have literally no energy. Um, I'm trying to capitalize on my morning energy, but even that's fickle. Uh, overall, don't do this. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a phase. It's not it's not the whole thing. It's not. Um, so this is not sustainable. So uh, eventually, I'll stop, uh, and then find a different so different thing to do different tool let's just say that for phase two um because this phase really just kind of helped me get kick-started helped me know that i can do it because i was struggling with this part for the longest time um since december i was trying to do it on and off and you know um failure is my only teacher which people hate that word failure just regular people. Like I talk to my friends and I say I failed or other people and I say I failed. And they're like, oh, no, you're not a failure. It's you just, you know, had a, I'm like, no, I, I failed. Like I did something. It didn't work. I stopped. And then I just did it again. Um, it's kind of funny. I think that word failure, people take it personally. I don't take anything personally. Um, I could talk about that a little bit more. But I think that word failure is just like... It's like a condemnation of some sort. It's some sort of label that you put on, society puts on you, and then you're just excommunicated. Um, that's not really how I operate, uh, so it doesn't really work on me. It's just a word to me, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, people get very upset. When I talk about it as myself, not even as, I'm obviously not calling other people failures. Um, unless they're failures, but uh, I wouldn't even say that. But um, yeah, it's to me, it's just the word. It's not who I am. It's not what I identify with. It's not. It's just a thing. It's not you know. Doesn't determine my self worth or value. Um, it's just a point in time. But anyway, other people don't see it like that. Um, while those words seem to be just forever or something. No, you're a failure for a couple seconds. And then you get over it. You do try again. Or you do something different. Or you let it go. I don't really know. But, yeah. So I failed. And then I unfailed. That's how that works. Or you just stay a failure for longer. I don't know. Um, but anyway. So... So yeah, so for about five days, I was off, and then for another week, I got back on. That was rough. Um, the se I don't know, I feel more tired for the seven days after I did all that stuff. Um, I don't know if that's real, or I just have something to compare it to now, or um, I don't know, but when I was eating... For that short period of time, I was able to hike for like an hour and a half, which was fantastic, but obviously not fantastic. Because um, even you don't really burn that many calories anyway. So that's the whole point of this is like people's idea of uh, weight loss and how that can relate to fitness is all marketing versus weight loss is just all dieting, like what you put into your mouth. Um, it's all calories. That's just science, but people will fight you. Oh no, it's you have to exercise and you have to do fitness, or it's hormones, or it's um, you know if it's hormones. What about the hormones? You can't you can't lose weight if your hormones are out of balance. I'm like, I don't disagree with that, but that's like two percent of the entire equation. Like losing weight is mostly calorie restriction. That's that's just the truth. Um, but people don't want to believe that or they can't and so they backwards rationalize and they tell them to sell the stories and they can't do anything about it it's just like well okay if it's your hormones that are that are making you the way you are then what are you going to do about it well you can't do anything about it unless you get hormone injections um there's actually things you can do like just hormones are a byproduct of your overall physiology and you can same thing, change what you eat and change what you ingest and change 
how you sleep and all those other things. But I think ultimately by saying that, it, it takes the responsibility off of you. It's like, oh no, this is just the way that I am. And hey, that's fine if that's what you want. But I definitely fight against the tide. So telling me that just gives me another reason to to run upstream. So whatever. Let's call me Mr. Salmon, I guess. Is that how that works? But anyway, so it's day 40. Um, 30 pounds down and 700 miller to go. That's how that works. But yeah, here we are. Can't go outside because it's windy AF. Uh, maybe I'll fly a kite. Let's see how that works. It's like 17 miles per hour. Get to fly it once. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so stay safe, stay healthy, and well, get healthy. Yeah, I think health is one of those things. If you don't work towards making it better, it just gets worse. There's no. Well, actually, the body's pretty resilient, so I can't really say that. I mean, millions of years of evolution, and people fight against it. Like, you can just see people's body shapes, and it's just not really what it's meant to be, but it's resilient, I'll tell you that. So I guess you can just stay healthy if you do common sense things, but anyway... I think the majority of people can benefit from getting healthier. Um, is juicing the way to do that? I don't know. It's a tool. It's not a lifestyle. Definitely not. You'll you'll die if you do this for too long. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, just want to be better. That's it. It's lemonade and syrup. Who knew? A bunch of people. Now you know. Do whatever you want. Just, you know, that's life. Do better. <laughs>